This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is Jason Brewer, the CEO of Marula Mining. Following an announcement this morning that the company's shares will be dual listed on the A2X exchange in South Africa. Well, thank you for joining us today, Jason. How are you? I'm, I'm very good, Mark. Very good today. Well, thank you for your time. So you've listed today, you've got that dual listing. I know it's been a little bit of a long time coming. How are you feeling, first of all? Yeah, look, we put out the announcement in South Africa last night. Uh, we have to give five days notice before the trading commences on next Thursday, on April the 25th. But mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's the first of two, two dual listings, as you know. It's taken yeah. a while, but um, I think timing-wise, with what we're doing over this quarter, it's, it's, it, it's good to get it done, put it that way. Good. So, uh, of course, you've got the Nairobi coming up as well, haven't you, that, that you want to get over the line as well. Can I ask you why? Why, why is it so important to get um, these other listings away? Look, it's... The A2X market in South Africa is one of two markets there. So you've got the A2X and then you've got the JSE. Um, with our listing as well in South Africa and in Nairobi, these dual listings are important to, to provide local investors in the key jurisdictions we operate, South Africa, East Africa. Give them a platform to participate in what we're doing. Uh, I think it's critical. It shows our commitment to the region. And it really gives, like I say, the local investors, the local communities, a chance to participate directly through purchasing shares, through investing in us, to share in our success. So, okay. yeah, it's, it's one of the key strategies that we have at Marula. Okay, that's really good. And is it a good appetite for private investing, retail style investing in South Africa? Look, in, in South Africa, you've got to recognise the mining industry has grown up there on the back of 100 years and, and dominated by five big mining houses, you know, some of the world's largest mining companies. So the style of investor there is a much more longer term conservative and a revenue stroke dividend focused investor. So, you know, it, it's not the place for an early stage exploration company, that's for sure. So for us, listing with the, the assets we've got, the producing Blaisberg mine, our manganese mine now here in Kenya and the other assets, I think, yes, we're going to be very attractive for investors there. And... And also, I think we're going to probably shake up the market a bit because we're not, you know, that kind of traditional uh, ultra conservative mining company. We're very dynamic, agile, mm -hmm. and we've got a very aggressive growth profile. So I think we'll be very attractive to, to local investors there. Good, good. So what do you expect then from off the back of this listing? Do you expect to uh, get a bit more active or the QGC group getting a bit more active, sort of telling the story over in the region and attracting investors in? Yeah, look, I mean, one of the big advantages is QGC, Quinton van der Berg in South Africa. Great track record operationally and, and obviously Quinton's entrepreneurship likewise. There's no listed entity in South Africa where people can almost participate in, in Quinton's energy drive ambitions. And Marul is that company now. So I'm expecting a lot of interest on the back of the, his involvement. And we also announced just, just the other day that the first tranche of shares to QGC is going to go ahead once uh, there's regulatory approvals in South Africa. That will make him an initial 23% shareholder in Marula. So he's clearly motivated, if he needs any more motivation, um, in supporting this listing and making sure it's a success. So, so yeah, I think it's going to go, go well. And I think with the QGC support behind us, and also a lot of interest in South Africa in the battery metals, in the critical metals sector. It'll also get a lot of attention. Great. Okay. And I wonder if you can perhaps give us a bit of a taste of maybe what's to come next week or the week after, or certainly the, the coming weeks from, from Marula. I'll, I'll look, Mark. I think I looked at this past week. We've, we've put out five announcements already this week, all fairly material announcements on what we're doing. Um, this quarter is important for us across a number of aspects. From a corporate perspective, it's the dual listings, uh, both obviously here in South Africa, uh, but also in, in Nairobi. And we're hoping to get that completed, certainly you know, in the next two weeks. So that is something to certainly look out for. And again, the same as in South Africa, we feel it's very important for local investors in, in Nairobi, in Kenya, to participate in what we're trying to do. Our primary listing uh, in London, clearly we're looking to move that to the uh, 
the standard segment of the uh, London Stock Exchange. So that's fast coming to a conclusion. And we've just got to start dealing with the FCA, with the prospectus that our advisors can and are finalising. Um, that's the key corporate stuff. Project-wise, revenue out of Blesberg, both lithium and the Coltan and the Tantalum. Um, revenue out of the manganese here. First sales to a European-based trading group and to an existing Chinese client. Um, activities in Tanzania at Canusi, the copper, which, yeah, we haven't mentioned that for a while, but it's certainly, you know, on the list of things to do. And, of course, on the graphite. So things moving there at Nuri Nuri and Nuri Green. Uh, we'll throw in a few little um, things from out wide. There's uh, some cobalt projects under consideration, and cobalt's one of those critical metals that we haven't got in the portfolio yet. So let's see how that pans out this quarter. I certainly expect that to be completed. And more tantalum and tungsten. And tungsten is clearly a metal, I think, in London that's, that's understood well, um, given one of the companies listed there with their North American project. So I think given the, the grades and historical mining of, of that tungsten tantalum asset, I think that might get the market quite interested in what we're doing too. So no surprise, Mark, there's a fair bit happening here at Marula. Good, good to hear, Jason. Well, thank you very much for your time today and uh, we'll speak, uh, yeah, probably in the not too distant future. Thanks, Mark, appreciate it. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.